So an SUV has a mass of 2,350 kilograms and is moving at 29 meters per second. And it hits a car with a smaller mass, moving faster, but in the opposite direction. After the collision, the two vehicles stick together. So we know my SUV is A, my car is B. That PA1 plus PB1 equals PAB2 because they're stuck together afterwards. We know the mass for our SUV is 2,350. Now my velocity is 29 meters per second, which means that our momentum is 68,150. And our mass of B is 1,560. And our velocity is negative 35 meters per second because it's in the opposite direction. So one of these velocities have to be has to be negative, and I just chose this SUV to be positive because it came first. So our momentum here is 54, 000, negative 54,600. So we add these up. Equals our PAB2. So PAB2 is equal to 13,550. And it would make sense. We already know that our wreckage is going to travel in the same direction as the SUV. And that makes sense because the SUV had a larger mass and thus and a larger momentum. So we can do the last step down here. We know that P equals M times V. So V is equal to P divided by M. To find our mass of A times B, or A, B stuck together, we, get, we just add the two masses together. So the mass of A and B when they are stuck together is 3,910 kilograms. So our velocity is that momentum we calculated earlier. Divided by the combined mass. And when we round to two significant figures, we get positive 3.5 meters per second. Now if you said the SUV was moving in the negative direction, then yours would be negative. But I would also see proof of that up here. I would see that this was negative and this one was positive. As long as you're consistent, I don't care.